Welcome! My name is Marcin Lewandowski and you are watching the Viewfinder on Adorama TV. Today I would like to share with you a few thoughts on photographing one thing that we all have in common – food. Whether you are a genuine foodie or not, food is hopefully a daily guest on your table and I bet you photographed it at least once in your lifetime. Even if it wasn't a beauty shot of a dessert in a fancy restaurant, food is probably visible somewhere in the background, maybe featured as a birthday cake or maybe ice cream on a hot summer day. By continuing this chain of thoughts, I want to give you a few tips about photographing food. So let's start with the beauty shots. As with everything else we photograph, a good picture starts from the back and choosing a fitting background for our dish is as important as interesting framing and lighting. We can approach this from a number of angles and whether we choose a plain white plate, a rustic tabletop or a funky ethnic tablecloth, it's entirely up to the photographer. But I encourage you to try different combinations and see what works best for you and the food you're trying to picture. Kitchenware and utensils also create quite a comprehensive list of props that can be used to create something unique. And last but not least, bits and pieces to garnish our photograph. Be it few drops of cream in the right spot, herbs to add a bit of liveliness, or a topping for a splash of color can turn an already appetizing view into a masterpiece. In terms of aforementioned lighting, in my opinion, food looks really nice in a large, soft and diffused, warm, natural light and the closer you can get to it, the better. But don't feel like it's the only solution. Many photographers prove time and time again that this is not the only option and there are as many solutions as there are recipes for food. So ring flash, snoot, candles, everything can be used in a creative way and to our advantage. Most important thing is, experiment a lot and choose what you like. I understand that all of this is barely crust on a pie. The approach to photographing food differs vastly from photographer to photographer. For starters, maybe check out Martin Parr's Real Food series to understand what I mean. But that's not the end. Commercial photography, maybe prints for your kitchen, or a nice picture to accompany old family recipes for a book you're planning. Restaurant interiors and kitchens? Single fruits and fish markets? Aerial views and macro shots? Drinks and beverages? Infinite number of infinite possibilities. So if you would like me to expand any of the above I mentioned or elaborate on any specific ideas, please let us know in the comments below. I hope this episode will inspire you to do something creative on your table. Subscribe to our channel for more and check out Adorama Learning Center for some cool tips and tutorials. This is Marcin Lewandowski for Drama TV. See you next time.